Welcome back to the Nightly Painting Studio. This is Corbin bringing you another tutorial in our Hobby Basics series. So today we're going to talk about uh, just laying down some base coats with the airbrush. We're going to continue to work on our Sister of Battle Canonus here. So the scheme that I'm going for is kind of a modified uh, Argent Shroud. So this is one that I've already done. This is a Battle Sister from the exclusive starter box. So we've gone with the black robes instead of the kind of beige, pale colored robes with red on the inside. So what I wanted to do to make this cannon stand out a little bit was I wanted to do red on the outside and black on the inside going to present a, a little bit of a challenge. It's going to be fun, but the order of operations here is probably going to be uh, a bit interesting. So we're going to start with, we're going to start with the black here. So we need to get the black up into these little areas, back into there down underneath on the inside of the robes as well. And then we're going to do red on the outside here and up here on the top and on the back. So this will all be red. These will be red, this will be red, and then we'll have the black to contrast us there. With the silver armor, I think it's going to look great. If it doesn't, we'll just go right back over it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my Sotar 2020 today from Badger. It's just a little more accurate than my Patriot. Or yeah, my Patriot. Um, and I didn't want to switch the needle in my Patriot. I, I could have done that, but I'd rather just use this. So we're going to start by just putting a small drop of Glow Improver, maybe. Open our paint pot. By the way, Schemes Workshop paint pots are the worst to deal with with the airbrush. It's paint. It's a royal paint. And I put just a little more black in there. Swish it all around. You can't really see what I'm doing there because it's black and the inside of the cup is black. Got some real thin down paint though. Uh, and this is the air paint, so what we may find is that it's a little too thin. You're gonna see me <coughs> make some mistakes in these videos because we're all human and Sometimes we do things and they don't turn out the way that we want. And so you try it again. So here we go. Remember our airbrush action here. Down presses air, back presses paint. So we're gonna start by blasting some air. And we're gonna slowly Slowly, slowly go in with our, with our black paint there. So as you're doing this, um, just be sure to get as many of these angles as you possibly can. We're not worrying about the armor right now because it's going to all be painted metallics later and you won't see any of this. So you can see I've gotten a little bit there in that crevice, that's okay. The red will go right over it. I'm going to do black for the corset there, chest armor. Put the black underneath. 
here. Like I said earlier, we're not going to worry too much about getting black on any of the legs or armor or any of that stuff. So sometimes, maybe what you're what you're seeing a little bit of here is the paint's really thin. So if I blast a little too hard, or if I stay in the same spot a little longer than I should, it's going to build up a little much, and we're going to get a result that we don't really want. Go ahead and do a little second pass there. Here. And you know, as I'm painting this, I'm realizing that this is going to take it's going to take a bit of brush work on the other end of this to go in and clean up and hit some of these spots that are just not easy to hit with the airbrush currently. I'm going to kind of flip this over like this. I'm trying to show you guys the angling here. So much about working with the airbrush is actually about finding the right angles to use. Trying to make sure we capture all this on the camera. So by using different angles, I'm actually ensuring that I don't get too much paint where I want the red to be. Because the red going over this nice, um, real light gray color is actually going to help it. It's going to help it to really stand out and be nice and bright. side of the folds right in here. Sorry. A little nice view of my hand. So currently I'm trying to get these these folds right in here. So like I said, what I'm realizing is that as I'm going about this process, um, I'm gonna have to go back with a brush on a good bit of this model. There's so many, uh, well, really the hard part is that this, this back piece here covers up so much of the detail of the model. Um, so we're gonna have to get creative, go back in with a brush later on, and finish that off. So I'm gonna move on to the next stage now. All right, and we're back. So just for the sake of uh, <laughs> repetition, I know uh, many of you watching these videos will be um, either very unfamiliar with the airbrush or sort of familiar with the airbrush or maybe um, new, brand new to using it. Um, we're gonna put one drop of flow improver in. 
So I want to give you as many tools as possible here. I'm going to take some red here. I'm going to want this color to be real nice and strong. So with this particular color, I'm actually um, using the base paint instead of the air paint. Uh, I just find that it is a little more pigment rich, maybe, than the air paint. Works with the thinning a bit better. I really like my like, strong, strong red color. So, let's see. Pot there. Nice strong red there. Okay, so let's start on the back here. Make sure I'm in nice camera view here. So you're like, huh, Corbin, that looks pink. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, but it will not for long. So remember, the thing about the airbrush is you want to work in really thin coats. So even if you build it up really, really nicely and really, really darkly, You just want to lurk in really thin coats. So it's probably going to look a little pink on this first pass, and that's okay. We're not going to worry too much about getting black. Um, onto the spots that are black, we're going to have to go back in and brush paint anyways. You can see there as we go back for that second pass, it's looking a lot better. It's going to give us a real rich red tone to it. You can see the difference there. So a really cool technique that I'll do another video on separately or point you to a great video on um, is working with uh, Zenithal highlights. I, I'll probably do a video on one, but um, learned that technique from a guy named Vince Venturella. Um, hope I didn't just butcher his, his last name, but Vince is an awesome guy. He's an incredible painter. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, you should, because he's just a fantastic teacher. But zenithal highlighting is um, basically looking at where the sun's zenith would hit the model. Um, so you would want to come like down almost on top of the model's head, right? You can actually do like a gray and a white. It makes it look a little more realistic um, in many ways. A little more like it's an actual subject and not a model. Um, I use this technique sometimes. Um, I do not use it all the time. But you know, as I'm doing this and working with these really thin reds, it might be a good idea for these models. It might work really well.
models with lots of folds generally tend to be pretty good candidates for it. So. So you can see that meh, a lot of our black here is actually turned red, and that's okay. We'll get it with a brush later on. But it's nice to be able to get that um, real firm highlight down, or uh, base coat down. So, so this is um, what base coating with the airbrush um, really looks like. It's lots of thin layers to build up that, that first layer of paint, right? Honestly, it's a ton of fun. Um, this is where you see the models start to come together. Where you can kind of tell if your vision for the miniature itself is actually going to work. And I think this model is going to look really cool. So, that's it for the base coating with the airbrush tutorial. Um, I think it's going to look really striking next to the opposite colored sisters. It's going to look really good. So, if you have any questions, further questions, um, go ahead and post them in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you think of the video. If there's something you thought I could do better, I'd love to hear that as well. Um, something you learned, something that you benefited from from this video, leave that in the comments at the bottom. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. We are currently supporting our local game store with this. That's what all these videos are for. They're tutorials for my buddies at the game store who are um, wanting to learn more about painting. Uh, using the airbrush and uh, learning new techniques. So I hope this benefits anyone else watching as well. Let me know where you're watching from. Hope to see you guys in the next video.